You wake up on a morning, it's cold, it's mm-hmm. wet, it's dark, you've got no cartilage in your knee, you've mm-hmm. got shitty shorts, whatever it is that's the issue today. Keep talking. <laughs> you've got these problems, right? I need you to keep talking about what you were just saying. It's warm on the couch. That's your it. missus says stay in bed. That's it. It's comfy, That's it's cozy, it. you've got it. work later on, you had an argument last night, you're slightly hung over. I know every motherfucker ain't gonna do what I'm gonna do. So this is how you level up. That's how you level up. I know there's a whole bunch of people with that right there. That fires me up. That makes me fucking happy what you just said. That brings joy to my life right there. Why? Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. You talk about that you were kind of you know, lonely by yourself. I was the same way. And that used to hurt me growing up. Now I fucking thrive in that shit. That's the only place to be. When, when Goggins lived with me, his rule is we had to do something every day that sucked. I remember one day I was sitting on the couch and uh, in Connecticut where I was living at the time and on the ticker on the, on the TV, the emergency broadcast system came up. Stay inside, freezing rain, icy conditions, high winds, stay inside, it was like beeping, stay inside. And Goggins was like, this is amazing, man, let's go for a run. And I'm like, they're telling us the exact opposite, man. They're, they're, they're broadcasting to the whole community to stay inside. Right. So we go for a 10 mile run in the blizzard and we come home and I lived on a lake and kids are playing hockey on the lake. So we go down and he takes his hand and he moves all the snow off the ice. He gets a boulder and he breaks the ice, a little hole in the ice with the boulder and then he takes his hand and he makes the hole a little bit bigger and then he jumps in and then he points at me and he takes his finger and he signals for me to jump in. Well, Goggins' story is so fascinating because he wasn't that guy. He was fat and out of shape and unmotivated and lazy and, you know, talked openly about the first time he ran. Like, he quit. You know, he ran about three quarters of a mile, I think he said, and quit. And he was exhausted and just drinking milkshakes and all fucked up. And somehow or another decided he's not going to be that guy anymore and went 180 degrees. And yeah. became this intensely motivated Iron Man. And that's why I talk about the warrior mentality. And that's why so many people are lost when I start talking. You have the right. You're lucky that you don't have to think like warriors think. You're very privileged. I chose this world to be a warrior. And I would, and I would choose it again if I came back to this world. But the mentality of a warrior is very different than the normal mentality. You must be that person on that door, get ready to open it, thinking to yourself, if I die, so be it. The only way you can go in that door is knowing there's a great chance you're gonna die. It's like being a SEAL, you train with live ammo. You jump out of an airplane, every, 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 everything you do, you could die. So to be a warrior, why people don't understand me, I'm glad you don't understand me. Merry Christmas, good on you. Because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. A whole different mindset to know that there's a great chance I may not be in the military, like I was in for 21 years. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky that I'm alive, able to talk to you, able to still run. But when you sign up on that dial line to be a, like a SEAL, your mentality changes. I may not live. You gotta accept that. And that's the mentality you have. You talk about performance without a purpose. Mm -hmm. What's that? So, like, for instance, let's say you have no races. Let's say you have no classes, no nothing. You have, there's no purpose in your life. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There's no 5K, there's no 
There's no, um, I'm going to get into school to be this or that, and still perform to the highest level. Because what people don't get is one day that thing's going to come up. And if you're not constantly performing without purpose, you're not going to be ready when the time comes. It's this magical thing, purpose, that we're all looking for. But what's funny about it all is that we need these things to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us. Because the very purpose is you. You are always the purpose. There may be another purpose, like being a SEAL or going to college or whatever, but the main purpose in life is you. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, you don't care enough about yourself. And that's what you need to really research is, man, why am I not doing this for myself?